Hi you guys, so it's 6am and I'm getting ready to leave to the hospital. I'm super tired and nervous but I'm going to try to record as much as I can and get everything for you guys. So here I go. This is my body before last time. Next time I have boobs. Oh my god, look at my chest. How about me? It's me from the back. came in and immediately started writing me up. I'm having a dilemma whether I should go bigger or smaller on my boobs. He wants me to go small because I'm, I'm a small woman, but I just really want to go bigger because everyone regrets about um, not getting them bigger and wishing they got them bigger. So I'm like, just might as well here, like go bigger, go home, you know? But he was like insisting on going um, a little bit smaller than I would I than what I have want would would have wanted, but I mean it is what it is. Maybe I'll tell him um, to go bigger once he's once I see him again because he left to go like pre-op or whatever prepare and maybe I'll tell him again because I'm just not gonna be 100% satisfied. I feel so I just have to do what I have to do. But yeah. I just got all written up and I'm not feeling nervous yet at all. So let's see how I feel when I get to the operating room. That's probably when I'm gonna start feeling really nervous. Bye, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm gonna try to tell my mom to record everything. Bye, mi amor. Me saludas a los gemelos. Sí, mi amor, ya ahorita te van a tomar. Y ya te doy masajito. Ok. ¿Ya sientes tus piernitas, mi amor? Porque yo cuando me hacen eso no las siento. Es que le te hiciste co te, que hicieron el mismo. ¿Cómo no? Y las mueres. ¿Por qué? En la anestesia. Porque es la que se quita. Está bien, mi amor. No tienes... No. ¿Tú no me das apoyo levantando tu cabeza? ¿Qué? ¿Con la cuenta de cabeza? Una. ¿Tus manos en tu pecho? Tu cabecita. Dos, tres. Qué chiquiada, ma. Mi chiquita es chiquiada, ¿eh? Yo la tengo muy chiquiada. No, chiquiada. Okay, so. I just got out of surgery. Uh, I feel horrible. Oh, okay. Everything hurts. Uh, I woke up during surgery. I didn't feel any pain. I didn't have like anesthesia or anything. But I woke up like three times during surgery. And the doctor told me that I literally got up from my bed, from the my surgery bed while they were doing my surgery. I just like got up all of a sudden, and I don't know. I don't remember any of that. I don't feel. I didn't feel pain or anything, so it wasn't like scary. Like I was paralyzed. Like I literally jumped out of the bed and the doctor was like, "Whoa, what the fuck?" So he had to give me extra. No. Anesthesia and medicine, just so I could relax. And my back hurts really bad. And yeah, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just waiting for the nurse to check on this. Like, so I have a drain in my boob. Apparently, it's gonna help me recover faster. 
and um, not be so swollen. So I got 325 cc's. I wanted 350, but it's okay. And then. Can't really see me, but hurts when I lose. But yeah, hopefully I can get updated and show myself a little bit more. And I feel absolutely zero pain. The only well, because I'm getting pain medicine, but the only pain that I was feeling was right when I got out of surgery. Like the first five minutes that I woke up from surgery, I had really horrible back pain, but not anymore. They gave me medicine and I'm good, but my doctor was getting mad at me for having back pain. I was like, chill, like, I have back pain, like, give me some medicine. And then he was like, like, you shouldn't have gotten surgery. I was like, you need to calm down because it's back pain and you can give me medicine and that's it. Like, I don't know why you're getting all worked up about it, but... Yeah, he's gonna come see me right now and I'm gonna tell him. Like, I couldn't really tell him anything in the moment because I was like under anesthesia still kind of and like I was like not really aware. But right now he's gonna come in and I'm gonna talk to him and be like, you're being kind of rude saying how, like he was just saying a bunch of weird stuff to me. I think he thought I wasn't gonna remember, but I do. And apparently I was being really aggressive and rude too um and saying a bunch of things but like he should understand because i just got out of anesthesia and like he's a bigger person he's the one that's not under anesthesia he should understand that when someone comes out of anesthesia they kind of go out of their character a little bit and it's normal but um but yeah there's not really much to do i'm super bored just here with my mom she's really bored too she just doesn't want to admit it but She's hella bored. There's nothing to do. Just need to relax and wait. Okay, this is what I'm looking like standing up. I think my boobs match my body perfectly. Um, this is my ass. Okay, I look really fat <laughs> because um, I'm swollen as fuck. Hola, buenos dias. So yeah, um... I'm looking pretty swollen from the stomach because I do have foams in that help you, like right here you can see it's blue, to help you um, reduce the swelling or just make the stomach look flatter. Honestly, I don't really know, but but yeah, I have foams so it's making me look fat. And let me freaking connect myself before I die. Um, But yeah, I just connected my IV and the pain medicine, and here I am. I, it's the second day, I could get up, I can move. Um, not comfortably, but I mean, I'm doing something, so. It's not as bad as what you guys think. Don't be scared. I was freaking so nervous, but then once it's over with, you're like, it's, it's just worth it once you see your body. Um, I mean, when you see it like this, you're like, what did I do? But when you see it without the garments and you're less swollen, it, I feel like it's going to just be so refreshing and like, thank God that I did it instead of just being scared. But yeah, I had a good uh, up, uh, surgery, even though I woke up, but it was still good. So... Yeah, no complications, everything's good. Literally felt like I blinked, and then they told me, wake up, you're done, and I was like, whoa. So it's it's a cool experience. If you really want this done, I 100% recommend it. In the moment when I was dying, I didn't recommend it because it felt like death, but now after, I mean, if you really want it, just go for it. But yeah, oh, I'll update you guys. Okay, so it's the next day, and I feel okay, but the nurse came in in the morning and tried to give me a shower, and I was not having it, like, I swear I was about to faint every time I got up, and I tried to take a shower, but I could not do it. I was starting to see freaking stars, and it was, the room was turning black, I was spinning, 
it was like the worst thing ever so i was like girl i'm not gonna go to take a shower and right now i even um got up to turn on the lights for to record and oh my god it's like everything makes you out of breath um eh. so here's a little sneak peek of my body hold on let me see if i can get it to show um like i said i'm not even supposed to be holding the phone like this i'm gonna get canceled but here's a little sneak peek my mom actually no my aunt came in and she was like you look so swollen you look you like you have no waist and i was like girl stop being a hater but these are my boobs i got a 325 cc and then i told him to take as much fat from my stomach as he possibly can from my light bulb so he can put it in my um waist i mean in my uh, hips in my butt and he was like you look pretty skinny because i weighed 117 he was like you look before my surgery he was like you look really skinny but you're like a shapeshifter like you actually had a lot of fat and i was like thank the lord i knew he was gonna come through with some fatty so he was like yeah you have enough fat so i could do a good shape on you because i was really scared that um i was gonna look disproportionate with my boobs and not enough um fat in my butt so i was like god i'm gonna look like a freaking doritos chip upside down that was my worst fear so so yeah um he tried to make me as proportionate as he could and my boobs look a little bit separated right now because of the freaking bra it's really uncomfortable when they put it on me i was like freaking oh my god in so much pain it just feels like a lot of needles and i know it's, that sounds horrible but it's not as horrible as it sounds like um yesterday i said that i wouldn't recommend this for anyone but today it's like it gets better each day each second each minute you feel better like I, yesterday i couldn't even get up to turn on the lights and today i just turned on the lights i almost took a shower but not there yet just yet but i think it gets better with time um but yeah this is my body i can't show like my hips too much because there's an opening for to pee and it's gonna like expose my wop so let me see i already can cover it but yeah my hips look a little bit um small i feel right now because of the faja being so compressed and just squeezing everything in together so i look kind of small from the bottom i think but when i saw myself without any garments when i was about to take the shower i felt pretty good about myself i was like she be looking snatched and a little thicky so hopefully nothing goes down i'm praying that the fat does not die because i heard fat dies especially if i'm fucking freaking laying on my butt um instead of my chest i can't lay on my chest because obviously i have my boobs done so i can't but yeah i'm just trying to make it work not put too much pressure on my ass because i know that that's bad so i'm just doing what i can and hopefully i can get go home today and yes fingers crossed i'm just waiting on my doctor to give me the uh green light to leave and then i'm a brand new bish okay so i'm home now finally and i just been watching movies relaxing i've been so tired this whole time i'm about to eat my first meal since i left the hospital a peanut butter and jelly sandwich um cuisine and yeah hopefully i feel better because i just took a bunch of pills and my stomach freaking hurts and i hadn't eaten anything so i like flopped on that but it's okay we'll fix it right now mm.